team. They'll be defending against the Pirates. I'm Dan Stevens, and joining me is my good friend, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at who's playing in today's game, Peter. You know, it must be nice for a coach to have this kind of talent out of the backfield. These guys are going to put on one heck of a show, I'll tell you that. On the other side, not to be outdone, we have just as many stars. Oh, now this is what I call an all-pro lineup, Dan. Two of the best at the front, followed by a lot of household names. Unless you don't watch football, then not so much. Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. You guys ready? Good game. The Pirates will make the selection. What is the call? Tails. It is heads. We'll kick. The home team has won the toss and select the kick. Number three sends it away to begin the game. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 23. Derek Brown took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Pirates send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. The enemy carries this one off to the right and chews up about four on the play. Pick up a four yards on the play. Number 57 credited with the tackle. Second and five. Ball at the 27 yard line. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 25. Knocked out of bounds at the 32. Leonard Simpson forced his man out back there. Allowed some yards, yes, but stopped them short of the markers. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Third down, one yard to go. them even farther away from the marker that will bring up fourth down number 57 executed a beautiful backfield tackle there to back him up an awesome hit that's his second tackle so far number three lines up to punt after the three and out Number three gets the snap and punts it away. Number 17 hauls it in at the 35. Brought down at the 37. Number 17 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their 37-yard line. Number 88 catches it left sideline and tries to get free. Finally popped out of bounds at the 40. First down. Doug Miller played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. First down and four wideouts in the game. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Miller just rifles this one, and it's caught at the 35. Eventually tackled at the 27. First down. 
Doug Miller has got a lot of guts to make a play like that, Dan. Anything crossfield is a gamble, period. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 21 will get the handoff and picks up a couple. Number 21 got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight. Stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Third down, one man back. Ryan Black has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. the point after and it's good Number three crushes this one deep. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle, stopped at the 30. Derek Brown decided to take it out of the end zone. Turned out to be a good decision, Dan. He got some good yards there. The Pirates, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Brooks throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 29 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Number 20 brings him down behind the line at the 28. Number 20 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. it out left side and it's caught at the 34 dragged down at the 35 armstrong was in on the tackle fourth down coming up number three gets ready to punt it away Number three gets the snap and punts it away. 
Number 17 shields the punt at the 32. Tackled at the 40. Number 17 made a puddle jumper of a punt look even punier with that nice run back. The home team got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 40-yard line. Miller throws this one right sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Troy Moon makes a terrific play here, Dan. He picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, and then eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Oh, yeah, nice play. He got what he needed and then headed for the sidelines. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Number 21 picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. He picks up one on the play. Number 22 credited with the tackle. Second down from the eye. Second and eight from the Pirates, 38 yard line. Miller lobs this one way over the middle, and it's off his fingertips, incomplete. Adam Bennett broke, and the ball was almost there. Just a couple inches short, or that would have been a completion. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Eight. Third and eight from the Pirates, 38 yards. Intercepted. Locked down at the 32. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Flipping number 24. Defense. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Nathan Woodyard got the cuff slapped on him for clipping his man on that play. You cannot hit a guy in the back like that. The Pirates have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 17-yard line. The enemy loses about three, and that will bring up second down. Number 96 keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Second down, three wideouts in the game. The enemy gets the call again and will end up losing a couple. Mike Simpson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Number 75 gets the sack way back at the seven. That will bring up fourth down. The home team used only three linemen to Swiss cheese the O-line and sack the quarterback back there. Three stops in a row. What a defensive stand. That's big time play right there. Number three lines up in his own end zone I mean, for the punt. Number three gets the snap and hunts it away. Number 17 hauls it in at the 36. Tackled at the 34. Number 17 fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position.
the home team were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 34-yard line. Miller lets it go down the right side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 59 anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Number 37 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 37 read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Third and ten. to get rid of the ball, but it fell incomplete. That incompletion will bring up fourth down, and if they had connected, well, it still would have been short. You have to run those routes farther in that situation. Fourth down, and the field goal the unit is on the field. Number three launches the 51-yard attempt and puts it through. It's good. Number three really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Number three sends it downfield. Brown catches it back at the one. Breaks the tackle. Spins. Finally dropped at the 32. Derek Brown put the starch out of a powerful kick by running it back for some serious yardage. The Pirates take the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as we start it at their 32-yard line. James tackles him for a short loss. Damon James got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. We gonna be in your face all day. Brooks lets it go here, and it's complete at the 44. Finally stopped at the 47. It will be first down. Warren Brooks zings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this. <laughs> they could be in big trouble. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Brown gets a piece of this one, but that's all. Incomplete. Derek Brown got some of the football there, but he didn't catch all of it. What he really needed was a few more inches of arm back there. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Brooks 
Fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Tavarius Oldham read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down, 10 yards to go. Tucker, it's Axon way back at the 39. Fourth down coming up. Jason Tucker hands the offense a huge loss by getting the sack way in the backfield. Check it out. Oh, yeah, he went right through the O-line and got to his man. Great effort. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number three lines up for the punt. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Number 17 deals the punt at the 25. Crank down at the 31. Number 17 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team offense takes the field, and they will start at their 31-yard line. Number 21 picks up 11 on the play, and for that, will bring up first down. This is a very good run for a sizable game, Dan. You can't ask for much more out of your rushing offense than that. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, two tight ends in the game. Just rifles this one and fits off incomplete. Number 59 was sitting back in the zone waiting for the pass and then closes enough to force the incompletion. Nice job. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second and ten from 42 yards. Number 21 catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Number 21 had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third and eight. Ball at the 44 yards. Miller throws a heater right sideline, and the reception is made for a first and more. 15 5 touchdown. Adam Bennett makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score.
Number three, it's a boomer down the field. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Brings the tackle, block down at the 24. Derek Brown got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Pirates are on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Number 20 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 20 wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down and four wideouts in the game. second down and gets just past the line but not by much before being dropped down Olden tips it away on the coverage incomplete it'll be fourth down Tavarius Oldham couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three gets the snap and punts it away. Number 17 catches it at the 39. Pop hard at the 45. Number 17 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The home team in command of this one, 17 to nothing. The home team are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 45-yard line. Moon falls in the pass and is at the 45, brought down hard at the 41. Doug Miller completes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan, and there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 153 yards and two touchdowns. Number 21 takes his fourth carry of the game and gets well past the markers for a first. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 98, defense. The penalty is declining. Dan, this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, shrewd coaching. Everything's going on. These are the kind of plays that make football the greatest game in the world, hands down. Number 21 catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Stopped at the 13. Number 21 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down from the shotgun. Watch the 
Miller zips it to the left sideline after reception's made at the seven. Eventually tackled at the two. It'll be first and goal. Warren Moon had a defender playing him close, but shook him at the last moment. You can't coach that. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Wow, I like the running duo in the backfield here. They'll try and pound it in. Roberts takes him down back at the four. Tyrone Roberts read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Second and goal. Number 21 carries it for the sixth time and gets in for the score. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 46 yards and one touchdown. Extra point, and it's good. Number three sends it downfield. Brown fields the kickoff at the three. Dodges a tackle, blocked down at the 27. Derek Brown got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Pirates are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. The enemy gets the call on first down and rambles for about five. A pickup of five on the play. Number 75 with the tackle. Second down, tight end to the left. The 42. Warren Brooks hung back in the pocket and finally uncorked a completion when he was ready to. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First and ten. Ball at the 42 yard The enemy picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Eric B. Enemy used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, three wideouts in the game.
The enemy gets the call on second down and barely gets past the line of scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. This one over the middle, and it's caught at the 48, and he's stopped right there. First down. Warren Brooks deserves a lot of credit for this play, Dan. He didn't back down and found a way to pipe it through here. Dan, I I'm seeing a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. The enemy snags the missile and tries to get free, and he's stopped right there. Leonard Simpson would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. short long. Damon James read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Simpson gets the sack way back at the 44. That will bring up fourth down. Mike Simpson gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That's going to be the defense's third stop in a row for a loss. Yeah, talk about executing. They didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Number three lines up for the punt. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Number 17 fields the punt at the 16. Stopped at the 19. Number 17 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 19-yard line. sideline and he's got the first down and a whole lot more Doug Miller has great accuracy on this throw yeah he put the ball right where his guy could get it and the defender could nice toss great pass Peter and he's having a terrific day so far you bet so far he's got 193 yards and no interceptions Number 21 takes it across the line of scrimmage and gets the first and goal. Finally stopped at the 23. A gobble of a 20 yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 73 yards on seven carries. and drops it incomplete. Warren Moon dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. They've been having problems connecting over the middle of the field, and there was more proof of it right there. Yeah, a lot of bodies over the middle, and that congestion is what they're having problems with. Second right. down, 10 Second yards 10. to go.
up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Number 21 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Number 88 catches the bullet out left, and he will be short of the first down. That will bring up fourth down. Tim Brown shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Fourth down and less than a yard. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number three kicks it from 31 yards, and it's good. Number three puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Number three boots it away. Brown fields it way back at the two. Jukes breaks three. Finally stopped at the 37. Derek Brown took the starch out of a powerful kick by running it back for some serious yardage. The Pirates need to score here before the half to get some momentum. They'll start at their 37-yard line. Brooks tosses it out left side, and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Derek Brown had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. Second down, one man back. continue to run. The enemy gets the call again and picks up the first down. Number 29 Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 29 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. First time up. Third down and four wideouts in the game.
Number 29. Finds himself in the exact spot when the ball is tipped, and he comes away with it for the pick. The offense gets a very unwelcome assist on that interception. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The home team came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 49-yard line. Number 21 cruises up. The home team take their first time up. Second down, both wide outs to the right. Number 21 pitches it in the flat and is at the 45. Third down. The clock is now at 29. Miller throws this on a roll. And the home team will take a timeout. That's their second. Warren Moon took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. First down, 10 yards to go. Number three, boots it from 50 yards out, and it's through the goal post, and good. Number three really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. Number three, boots it away. Brown fields the kickoff at the one. Break three, stop at the 27. Derek Brown received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Pirates take the field with the clock at five. The enemy will get the carry on first down and almost gets back to the line of scrimmage, but not quite before he's taken down. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The home team in command of this one, 30 to nothing. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The home team are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Miller went up top on the third down play, and he was able to find his man. A 24-yard touchdown for the home team. The home team strike first and go up by seven. Midway through the first, the ball at the 39. Bacon is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. Still midway through the first quarter, the home team leading by seven. Number three would get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would, in fact, deliver. They move ahead by 10. The Pirates, end of the first quarter. Brooks connected with his man on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards, and they had to punt it away. The Pirates, down 10 to nothing. 
Bennett came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 56-yard touchdown for the home team. The home team moving ahead big and now lead by 17. Later on in the second quarter, this time at the 42. Number 21 would get the carry here. Good blocking up front, and it helped to spring up. A 19-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Midway through the second, the home team ahead by 24. Number 21 is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. They have opened it up and now lead by 27. The Pirates, late in the second quarter, number 29, was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Pirates, back 27 to nothing. After driving 18 yards on three plays, number three sets up the field goal attempt from just about the parking lot. That has a lot of leg, though. He's got it. A 51-yard field goal. And that's how we'll round this one out. The home team are up big at halftime, 30 to nothing. All right, good work, partner. The home team will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are dominating this game. Currently, they are up large, 30 to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Number 14 sends it away to begin the second half. Number 17 fields the second half kickoff at the 12. Dragged down at the 32. Number 17 took the pint-sized kick and ran it back for a gallon-sized return. The home team will begin the drive at their 32-yard line. Number 21 takes the handoff and gains about three yards. Number 21 with the carry. A pickup of three on the play. Number 97 credited with the tackle. Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the 35-yard line. Miller zings it to the right side, and the reception's made at the 40, and he stopped right there. Number 31 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Third and eight from 34 yards. First on third and long. Warren Moon has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. This guy has been pretty much unstoppable this contest. You might think uh, you have him covered, but you don't. That's absolutely right, Dan. Solid effort from whistle to whistle. If the D doesn't step up now, they might not get a chance later on. Number 21 goes right up the middle and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 21 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, two receivers to the left. Number 21 chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. A pickup of four yards on the play. Number 22 credited with the tackle. Third and four from the Pirates, 46 yard line. Down. Stand. Don't let him get a range, baby. Don't let him get a range. Gun. Hurry. 
Miller rifles it out left side and the reception's made at the 37. Finally dropped at the 29. He picks up 17 on the play. First down, home run. Number 81. Can't believe he's this wide open. The coverage simply does a disappearing act. That's a magic trick the defensive coordinator needs to retire. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. No dice and it falls incomplete. Warren Moon had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's now two drops by a guy considered to be one of the best in the game. Well, Dan, I don't care how talented you are. After you drop that first one, it can really get into your head. Second down, three wideouts in the game. From the Pirates, 29 yards. Miller just rifles this one, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 88 has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Y you know, Peter, bringing down a tight end is like trying to lasso a runaway bull. <laughs> yeah, sure is. You can do it, but it's going to take everything you've got. Yeah, the D should be a little scared at this point. It's rare for him to be this involved, but he's really come to play today. Bennett catches it left sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Adam Bennett got the first by going outside, and then he slipped out of bounds. Probably going to go sign a few autographs, I bet. First and goal from the Pirates, one yard line. Down! Oh, a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Number 21 takes his 13th carry of the game and gets in for the score. Number 21 really did a tremendous job there. Watch this particular move. Oh, a beautiful spin that the defense didn't see coming and barely saw going. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Number three crushes this one deep. Brown is coming out with it. Breaks a tackle. Tackled at the 22. Derek Brown took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Pirates are on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Number 75, Saxon way back at the 17. 75 sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket that's going to be a sizable loss watch this oh man that's going to push them way back great defensive play peter he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game oh you can say that again so far he's got five tackles and two sacks second down one man back
Eric B. Enemy burst away from the defender there, showing incredible athleticism. He's a handful, no doubt about it. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Number 57 tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 57 calculates the pattern right off the line, locates the ball. Oh, just gets a finger on it. That broke up a sure completion. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up, and the D keeps sending it back. Number three right. lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three gets the snap and punts it away. Number 17 fields it at the 35. Tackled at the 33. The home team offense First takes the ten. field, and they have been From very effective through the air. We'll see what happens as we start this drive at their 33-yard line. Number 88 makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 88 makes the catch and then adds a whole lot more on the ground. Watch. Reels it in and then makes the D reel with all the yards he's tacking on. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. second down number 97 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield nice defensive stop another tackle and he's starting to fill up the second stat book he is dominating dan so far he's got five tackles number 21 takes this one way out left and picks up eight yards on the play Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 21 has his number called on third down. Ant is dropped short of the markers. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction. Number 97. Defense. Dog yard penalty. First down. Number 97 was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. First and ten. Moon snags the dart right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Warren Moon was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. It's about time. Three incompletions in a row before they finally connect. Yeah, perseverance can be both a blessing and a curse. They finally got that one to him, but boy, did it take some effort. Number 20. 
31, gains three yards, and that brings up third down. A pickup of three on the play. Number 59 with the tackle. Third down from the eye. Third and two from the Pirates' 19-yard line. his number called on third down and can't convert the third down that will bring up fourth down number 59 brought down the ball carrier before the markers there was some gain there but not enough for the first that's his third tackle of the game fourth down and less than a yard miller on the hold Number three, kicks it from 34 yards, puts it through, it's good. Number three, has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Number three, kicks it away. Derek Brown took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Pirates, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 24-yard line. The enemy will get the carry on first down and barely gets past the line of scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. No gain on the play. Second and nine. Number seven didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number seven ran an outside route but couldn't make a play to haul in that fling. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. This one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Alonzo Armstrong anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. Oh, for this oh. is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Number three gets ready to punt it away. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Number 17 fields the punt at the 39. Tackled at the 41. Number 17 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 41-yard line. Rip, rip. I got two, I got two. Number 21 carries it for the 18th time and will lose about a yard here. Tyrone Roberts read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down.
Number 21 punches this one left of center and heads up field. Tackled at the 47. With the carry. Gain of seven on the play. Bacon credited with the tackle. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Ball at the 47 yard line. Number 21 carries it for a third time in a row and gets tackled short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Number 37 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Ingram lines up to punt after the three and out. Brown is deep to receive. Ingram takes the snap and punts it away. Brown holds it in at the 13. Tackled at the 18. Derek Brown didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Pirates have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 18-yard line. Brooks rifles it out outside, and the ball is caught at the 27, eventually tackled at the 30. First down. First down, Pirates. Warren Brooks has great accuracy on this throw. Yeah, he put the ball right where his guy could get it. And the defender couldn't. Nice toss. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. That's and that'll do it the for the third quarter. quarter. The home team in command of this one, 40, 40 to nothing. First down, two tight ends in the game. Simon catches it in the flat, and he's looking for room. Eventually runs out at the 46. It will be first down. Leonardo Simon got an opportunity to tack on a few more after the completion, and he took it. I love to see that kind of drive in a player. You can't coach that. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Number 96 gets the sack way back at the 40. Number 96, got a nice sack in the backfield that sent this offense backpedaling. Spin class? <laughs> That's funny, as if I still work out. That will be their fifth sack of the day, and they have been simply relentless so far. Dan, they haven't let up all game, and that's what you want, somebody whose motor never stops. Gets a piece of this one, but that's all incomplete. Cesar Miller almost got this baby, but it just glances off his fingertips. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. Third down and four wideouts in the game. away incomplete pass that will bring up fourth down took a shot back there which is why that pass went nowhere peter in third down situations they have not been successful at all with the pass this play was more proof boy third is such a crucial down dan 
And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number three gets ready to punt it away. Number three gets the snap and punts it away. Number 17 fields the punt at the 23. Pop hard at the 29. Number 17 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 29-yard line. The 34. Miller with the carry. Gain of five on the play. Roberts credited with the tackle. Second down, down five yards Second to go. From 34 yard line. Miller throws a heater, and it's complete at the 41, and he's stopped right there. It will be first down. Number 88 has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Y you know, Peter, bringing down a tight end is like trying to lasso a runaway bull. <laughs> yeah, sure. Is. You can do it, but it's going to take everything you've got. Yeah, the D should be a little scared at this point. It's rare for him to be this involved, but he's really come to play today. Moon makes a nice catch and is at the 25. Five, and he's in. Touchdown. Doug Miller wings it across the field and finds his man. That, my friends, is a strong arm. He scanned over the matchups, found the right guy, and netted his third touchdown of the day. Oh, Dan, you can't be indecisive in this league, or you won't last very long. Extra point, and it's good. Number three kicks it off. Brown catches it back at the one. One man to beat, no one in front of him. And he's in for the touchdown. Number 14 is back for the point after. Jones will hold the kick. Now the extra point, and it's good. It's good. Number 
Number 14 kicks it away. Number 17 fields the kickoff at the 10. Hurdles. No one in front of him. Touchdown. the extra point and it's good. Number three kicks it off. Brown catches it back at the four. He stopped at the 27. Derek Brown was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Pirates are on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Brooks zips it to the left sideline, and the ball's caught at the 29, tackled at the 32. Derek Brown snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. Right. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Second down with the tight end right. Number 29 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 29 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? It's very risky. Throws a heater right side right and the reception's made at the 36, 35, 25, 10, 5, and touchdown. Leonardo Simon fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. Number 14 is back for the point after. Jones will hold the kick. the extra point and it's good. The point is good. Number 14 kicks it away. 
Number 17 fields the kickoff at the 9. <laughs> Tackled at the 30. Number 17 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Team offense takes the field and they will start at their own 30 yard line. Number 88 makes the catch on the right sideline and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Doug Miller lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. That's his fourth deep Let's connection go. of the day. First and at some point, the defense has to react. Well, it's like the secondary's been sleepwalking through this. Number 21 carries it for the 21st time and gains about three yards. Gain of three on the play. Number 22 with the tackle. Second down, seven Gain yards to go. Number 21 gains five on the play, and that brings up third down. Gain of five on the play. Number 22 credited with the tackle. Third and two. Number 21 carries it past Scrimmage and can't convert the third down. It'll be fourth down. Number 22 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. He's got seven tackles so far. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Ball at the 36 yard line. Bennett catches it over the middle and tries to get free. Adam Bennett was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. Peter, why didn't they punt the ball away there? You got me, Dan. They're, they're up by such a comfortable margin. That's a strange call. First down, one man back. the tackle just behind the line. Number 37 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. one on the play and that brings up third down number 97 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage that's tackle number six for him he's holding up his part of the line and that is for sure oh, you gotta love a player stepping up like that Number 32 gets the call on third down and gets taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Tyrone Roberts brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. 27 yards. Miller on the hole. 
hold. Number three with the 44-yard attempt, and it's good. Number three knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. Tremendous job. He's been booting them through all day today. You know, Dan, he's actually turned out to be one of the leading scorers for this team. Yeah. And he has to do it three points at a time. Exactly. Number three sends it downfield. Brown catches it back at the two. the 28. Derek Brown received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Pirates are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Armstrong makes the nice catch, and it's good for a gain of 10 on the play. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 36. Dragged down at the 44. Grabs the bullet, it is at the 50, brought down at the 47. Brooks fires this one over the middle, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Jonathan Williams makes a sharp move into a short pattern, but the ball ends up on the turf. That's one the offense should have been able to complete. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. Third down from the shotgun. Roberts makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Tyrone Roberts read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Oh, for this oh. is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these right. defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Floats this one out to the right sidelines, and they convert the big fourth down play. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Simon catches it in the flat, and the clock continues to wind down. Second down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Brooks gets some air under this pass, and it's caught at the one. He's in for the touchdown. Leonardo Simon has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, the scoring his second touchdown of this contest. Jones on the hold.
the point after, and it's good. The point is good. Number 14 bounces it up there. Roberts collects it at the 42. Down at the 41. Tyrone Roberts followed the bouncing ball as he was able to nab the onside kick, which is definitely something to sing about. A gutsy call, and when you live high stakes, you win big, or you lose big. Well, they lost, and now we'll see how they recover. The home team start this drive with great field position at the 41-yard line. Number 32 will take the Pirates, take their first time out. Number 32 got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, eight yards to go. The Pirates will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 32 powered forward with the football. Thanks to some initial blocking, problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Third down. The clock is stopped at 1.34. Great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye. What a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this. <laughs> they could be in big trouble. Another touchdown, and this lead is insurmountable with the clock ticking away. Domination, Dan. Domination. point after and it's good Odom is back on the field after getting checked by his trainer Number three kicks it away. Brown fields the kickoff at the three. Another move brought down at the 25. Derek Brown received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Pirates start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 124. Brooks just rifles this one, and the reception is made. That will stop the clock at 120. Derek Brown had to stop the clock, and going out of bounds was a good move. And it was a heck of a lot easier than cutting the power to the entire stadium. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down. The clock is stopped at 120. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Derek Brown didn't have anybody on him, and yet he couldn't make the catch. Those mid-range passes are not working out for them so far. Peter, 
What's different in that rain? Well, the coverage and their reaction time. The D is beating them to the punch right here. Third down, three wideouts in the game. some yards yes but stop them short of the markers that's his third tackle of the game fourth down and they're going for it This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Alonzo Armstrong can't quite get position for the interception, but he does manage to swat it off course, quick hands. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. The Pirates. Jensen takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. Third and 13 from the Pirates, 36-yard line. Jensen takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. The home team come out on top, 64 to 21. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 21 got the carry as they pounded him out on the ground, and he made the most of it. A one-yard touchdown for the home team. The home team have opened it up and now lead by 37. Midway through the third, all at their own 32-yard line. Number 88 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That set up a 35-yard field goal. Now early in the fourth quarter, the Pirates losing by 40. Simon found a soft spot in the defense, and it worked to his advantage. The home team still in the fourth. Moon was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 59-yard touchdown for the home team. The home team leading 47 to nothing. Brown is back to return this one. He's got a little room to run. He's got blockers in front of him. He is on the move. Touchdown for the visitors. The Pirates close in a little. They are now down by 40. After a tough goal line stand, the home team in control at the one-yard line. 
Number 17 would settle under a kickoff, find himself an opening, and then it was off to the races. Touchdown for the home team. Still early in the fourth quarter, the Pirates losing by 47. Simon emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They narrow the gap a bit. They are now down by 40. The home team come right back. Number three would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. A 45-yard field goal. The home team up 57 to 14. Brooks would find his target on this one. A 27-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Pirates finally get on the board and are now down by 36. The home team still late in the half, all at the 39. Jensen went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. A 38-yard touchdown for the home team. And that will do it. The home team win big, 64 to 21. So then, it's time to give recognition to our 2K Sports player of the game. Doug Miller showed us exactly why he's a legend. Well, the name of the game for the quarterback is putting points on the board for his team. And he certainly was able to do that in this one. He found the end zone repeatedly, making it look easy out there. But we know it's not. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.